Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to talk about um, being a Dungeons and Dragons protector and what that means to protect Dungeons and Dragons. So I consider myself a Dungeons and Dragons Sentinel. This is a member of the Dungeons and Dragons community who understands what Dungeons and Dragons is and protects Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, there are not many of us. Um, but I want to talk about this because I think, all right, because I think it's very difficult to understand what protecting Dungeons and Dragons means. And I, I don't want to talk it through. So let, let's talk it through together. So first of all, it is my humble opinion that only seven people on the planet Earth actually understand what Dungeons and Dragons truly is fully. Um, and actually, no, I want to say I, I, not even fully, because I think we're still, we're still learning. We're always learning what Dungeons and Dragons is. I don't think we, I don't think we fully know. I do think I know what Dungeons and Dragons is. Um, I think there's still, like, it's like a knowing a person, right? Like, you know a person, but you don't know everything about that person. It's impossible, right? But I know Dungeons and Dragons. I think I'm one of seven people on the planet who know Dungeons and Dragons. What Dungeons and Dragons actually is. That, okay, that, that's a good way to say it. I think there's only seven people on the planet who actually know what Dungeons and Dragons is. I'm one of those people, in my humble opinion. I'm not going to name the other six here because that's not what this video is about. Let, let's keep going. All right. So, um, so if you know what, so if you know what Dungeons and Dragons is, you, you, I think, in order to even get there, you have to be heavily invested in Dungeons and Dragons. And once you know what it is, you know it has to be protected. You know it has to be protected because at minimum you're aware of the two panics, right? I'm not going to explain them. I explain them multiple times on my, on my channel. There are Dungeons and Dragons had two panics, two attempts to destroy John Dragons from two distinct groups. Pretty incredible. Um, okay, so um, so let's talk about protection. So the best way to understand the protection of Dungeons and Dragons is to understand Owen Lars and Obi-Wan Kenobi, okay? So what you need to understand is the owner of Dungeons and Dragons always protects Dungeons and Dragons. TSR protected Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast protected Dungeons and Dragons, and Hasbro protected Dungeons and Dragons today. But all of them protected Dungeons and Dragons from the perspective of Owen Lars, right? Owen Lars was really a very genuine protector of Luke Skywalker, no question, right? But it, but his protection of Dungeons and Dragons was very limited. Why was his Dun uh, Owen Lars' protection of Luke Skywalker was very limited? Why? Because he didn't really understand what Luke Skywalker was or value it. That's the issue. No owner of Dungeons and Dragons has ever understood what Dungeons and Dragons is or valued Dungeons and Dragons correctly. Right? They've all valued it, but not and and even Owen, Owen Lars valued Luke Skywalker. What did what did Owen Lars value Luke Skywalker for? Uh, har you know, for maintaining uh, moisture riders on the planet Tatooine and helping him with his moisture farm. Same thing, you know, TSR, Wizards of the Coast, uh, Hasbro, all, like, they all have bean counters. And those bean counters are like, get out in that, mo get out in that moisture field, maintain that moisturized, you know, those moisture units, right? Like, they value Duds and Dragons, but they don't understand, but, and, and yes, Luke Skywalker was a moisture farmer servant, right? was a moisture farmer. Luke Skywalker was a moisture farmer. But if you think Luke Skywalker, the definition of Luke Skywalker is moisture farmer, you don't know what the heck Luke Skywalker is. He was a Jedi, right? Like, But uh, Owen Lars didn't even believe in the Force. He didn't believe in, you know, that hocus pocus, right? And so he never understood what Luke Skywalker was or what he could do, right? And that's exactly what every owner of Dungeons and Dragons has, has always been in. They value it. They protect it. They actually might even have a shred of love for it, right? I actually think Owen Lars legitimately loved Luke Skywalker in his own way. And he was incredibly limited in the way he could love him, right? Now, let's talk about D&D &D Sentinels. I am a D&D &D Sentinel in my humble opinion. I'm in, I'm on Tatooine. And I am watching Dungeons and Dragons carefully, and it doesn't matter what comes for Dungeons and Dragons. I'm there. I got you. Know, like a, I'm there, watching over, ready, right, ready to protect Dungeons and Dragons 
from whatever threat comes, right? And just like Obi-Wan, I know what the threats are, right? And I know, and you know how I know what the threats are? Because I know what Tons of Dragons is, actually. And I know what it's capable of, right? And just like Luke Skywalker, right, in, in Return of the Jedi, that's that's where Dungeons and Dragons is right now. It's not even in its final form, okay? I used to believe that Dungeons and Dragons was for improving individuals. Then I grew to believe that it was for um, uh, for improving entire regions, right? Now I understand Dungeons and Dragons is fundamentally its true power is the ability to fix countries, to fix an entire nation, to fix them, right? To set them on the right path, to transform them, right? America's already been transformed by Dungeons and Dragons, no question. Massively improved, set on the right path. I think there are other nations, other nations that need to be fundamentally changed. And I believe whatever nation gets Dungeons and Dragons next will be transformed forever, changed forever. Right now, there's a, there's a good, you know, D and D community is like, oh no, D and D could go behind America. Oh my goodness, some nation could ruin Dungeons and Dragons. No nation is going to ruin Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons will transform that nation. The nation that receives Dungeons and Dragons next will be transformed by Dungeons and Dragons. I know what Dungeons and Dragons is. I know what its value is, and I know why it has to be protected. And so I sit in the sand near the cave and when I see something coming for D&D to harm it I'm up right yeah I'm ready to take action I am a D&D sentinel in my humble opinion are you I'd love to hear if you think you are and why I'd love to hear your opinion on protection of Dungeon Dragons and what you think protection of Dungeon Mag Dragons means and are there protectors of Dungeon Dragons that I haven't listed I'd love to hear it I'd love to hear Everything you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I hear your humble opinion. Get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.